statistics, histograms. You will find this on page 672 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Histograms. A histogram is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. It is similar to a bar chart, but a histogram is used for group or continuous number into ranges. Let's just highlight that. Okay. And you decide what ranges to use. The range of each bar is also called the class interval. In contrast to a bar graph, there are no spaces between the rectangles in the histogram. Histograms are a great way to show results of continuous data such as weight, height, how much time, where, class, when, where one class ends, the next one starts. Okay, let's look at an example. Histograms for group data with equal class intervals. Now this one is not so difficult. If the class intervals are equal, then the widths of the rectangles of the histogram are a constant. Let's look at an example. The table shows the lengths x millimeter of 30 leaves taken from various number rubber trees. Okay, there's the raw data. Using class intervals from 120 to 130, 130 to 140, and so on. Remember, 120 is included, but 130 is not included. It's first included in the next group. That's why there's an equal sign and there's no equal sign at the end. And so on. Construct a frequency table for the data. Draw a histogram to illustrate the data. So first, now the best way is to make use of telemarks. So if it's 120, 130, I just first write down all my classes, okay, my class intervals, and then I start. And I say 157, okay, and then I find the place, and I make my stripe. And then 141, and I make my stripe and I continue until I have all my tellies then I just add it up and I just find my frequency and then basically this is my frequency this is my length this is my classes now can you recall that if part of this axis is not there can you see we started 120 then we actually show it was going on but we are only going to start from 120 so we make use of this sign okay stop the video and do try now 26 number two you can continue the video as soon as you are finished Okay, let's start. The table shows the wait, waiting time, X minutes for 36 patients at the doctor of a clinic. Using class intervals from 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and so on, construct a frequency table for the data. Now, always look the lowest, we will be 5, but what will be the highest one? Now, if I look at the highest one, let's see, there's a 51, can you see? Um, what do I still see? Is there still another? F so, I, it's only up to 51. So, if I start with my classes, let's just start. I'm going to say, okay, first I'm going to write here um, the time. So, it's my time. Um, and it's going to be X minutes. Okay, and then my classes is going to be 5, and then it's going to be 10. Can you see? 10 is included here, but, and if you make the X, but 15 is not included there. Okay, so 5 is included here. And um, 10 is included, but it's not included there. Okay, so I go on. So after 15, uh, this was 10 to 15, then it's going to be 15. Let's first just write the numbers, it's going to be easier. 
and then we fill in the rest. Then it's 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45, 45 to 50, and 50 to 55. Okay, and now we can actually, can you see, it's the same sign. We can just construct it like this. And there is all my x values. And there it's all my signs. Okay, and now we can just put it in a table make it stand out a little bit better okay and now we're just going to continue this table this is my frequency um, let's just draw that lines also okay Let's just see if we can clean this one. Okay, and now we're just going to go on. We continue with this one. Okay, let's just get a straight line. It's better with a straight line. Okay, and then we're going to use the telly. It's not so big. And then just the frequency. Okay, so basically this is going to be my telly and this is going to be my frequency. Okay, but let's start. Now it's always good as soon as you just go down the row, row, row and I'm going to even scratch one as soon as it's finished. So 14, if I look at 14, so where is 14 going to be? It's going to be here. Okay, I just think, just for explanation, it's better that we draw a line there, draw this line, then it's going to be easier to see the tellies. Okay, I'm just drawing all this in between lines. Now I worked on grid paper, so it makes it a bit easier. But if you work in a book, okay. So let's just start, one. 22, now where will 22 be? It's going to be there. 45, where will 45 be? It's going to be in this one, take note. 48, it will also be in this one. 35, it will be in this one. 52, oh there's a 52, it will be in this one. 23, it will be in this one. 37, in this one, 16 in this one, 12 in this one, 17 in this one, 25 in this one, 34 in this one, 46, 18, 11, 8, 13, 44, 31, 16, it's going to be in this one, 9, it's going to be in this one, 10, it's going to be in this, oh, remember after 4, for the fifth one you scratch, 14, it's going to be, start a near one, 14, 16, scratch again, 39, it's going to be in this one, 29, in this one, 51, in this one, 27, in this one, 
19, you see that 19 in this one, 23 in this one, 29 in this one, 32, let's look 32 in this one, 31, it's going to be in this one, 43 in this one, and 16 in this one. Okay, now we can add it up. So this was 2, this is going to be 6, this is going to be 7, this is going to be 3, this is going to be 4, 4, and then this one is going to be 3, and 2, and 3, and 2. Oh, we can write the total by just adding up, and if you want to write the total, it's going to be 36. It's always good to check with the total, because these two 36. So if you add this up and you don't get 36, then there's a mistake. You made a mistake with your telex, and then you have to redo the telex. Okay, now number B, draw an histogram. Now if we draw an histogram, first we can do it on block paper, because all the class intervals are equal, so if we do this, we're just going to have, okay, I just want to have another color. Let's rather work with this one. Um, it's, what is the highest one? It's up to seven, so we can see if we can work in twos. Okay, let's just move this one up to here. It's not going to work. Okay. Okay, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, we can make it shorter. Okay. Okay, and this is going to be my frequency. And this is going to be my time, which is in minutes. And if I'm going to write it down, no, I'm just going to find my table. So the time is up to 55. So let's see, we can work with this one. We can work on the lines there. And this is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And it's up to 55. We can work this one. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay. And now we can just start drawing our bars. So if we start drawing the bars, the first one will be only up to 2. So it will be from 5 to 10, and it will just be one block. So it will be that. Okay. Then the next one is going to be 6. Okay, from 10 to 15, it's going to be 6. So it's going to be up to here. And the next one is going to be 7, so it's going to be in between that bar. So it's just in the middle there. The next one is going to be 3, so it's going to be in the middle there. The next one is going to be 4, so it's going to be a bit higher. Uh, the next one is going to be also 4, so it's going to be the same. The next one is going to be 3. The next one is going to be 2. Only one block. And the, um, yes, let's just see. This one was 3. Okay, let's just, con let's just check it. This was, was 2, then 6, then 7, then 3, then 4, 4, then 3, 3. 
up to 40 it was 3 and then it was 2 and then it was 3 again and the final one was just a 2 okay and that is basically a histogram of the data displayed.